Super guys, CCP. I'm just uh, gonna do some stuff on my car today. I want you guys to check it out. It's gonna be this little thing here. It's a PVC delete on the car. I found it for my jet, for my uh, Golf R, just because it has a high idle. The idle is going really bad and stuff. And uh, found it at the PCB diaphragm would jack up all the time. So I ordered this from a company out in uh, in London or Britain or whatever. It's X8R, as you can see. It's uh, pretty good, it's a delete that's gonna go on my PVC area. I'll show more to you when I get to the car, uh, but I'll show you how to take it off and everything, and then we'll just go from there. Okay guys, so now what we gotta do is take this off here and when we get to it you're gonna see you'll see how we get to the part and how we take it off and I'll show you right now it's real easy with this stuff here disconnect this here you disconnect down here so the, not that that is the turbo part of it exhaust Pop this up like so. This is just slide right out, guys. So when we do this, this is the piece here that we're taking off. This hose, you can tell somebody's already jacked with it. So I'm gonna replace all of this here. This hose comes off, this comes off, the plate goes here and this connects to the plate. So all of this will come off, okay? As you can see, I'm taking this off. It just snaps right off, you can set these here, and it pops right off. This one's a little harder, but as you can see, it's popped right off. We're getting rid of that hose totally. So, you don't need this piece here. You don't need this piece here. This piece needs to come off. So, we'll take this little hose off here. This is for the, the blow-off valve. I had to screw this on because it was always coming off. I think I might have messed it up. We'll find out though. Okay, we didn't. I knew I was getting a few pieces on, so I'd be as delicate as I could without jacking everything up. This piece should just pop right off, just like that. Don't need that piece, that's the old one. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, guys, and I'll come back. Okay, now, guys, I took this piece off here, and you can barely see it, but I took this off, and that goes out of the way. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna drop it right there for now. That's it. Now I'm gonna take this off. These take, I believe, T25s, torque heads. 
So I'm gonna look at it and make sure, and I'll come right back. Okay guys, what I'm doing is, I'm using this little gyroscopic, and what it does is it takes out the screws, and you don't wanna lose these screws, because these screws are what you're gonna use for the set, for the new one. So don't lose these screws, whatever you do. Anybody work on your cars, guys? Because they don't know what the fuck they're doing and they lost the screw for me. They put a fucking Phillips screw into the screw that I needed. Okay, huh? There's supposed to be one, two, three, four screws. I only got three. That's why you never let anybody work on your car but you. So this is the piece that normally goes out guys. This diaphragm in here always gets fucked up and it never works. So that's the one that, uh, that's the reason why I'm taking it off because it makes her idle, go up and down and everything. These are usually a piece of shit. You could get them fixed and you could always redo them, but it's just a pain in the ass. Just get rid of it. Okay, so this is the other part here. It's an aluminum piece that goes right here and just screws right in. You got an you got O-ring gasket on it. That's just gonna protect it from leaking. Screw it in, just a little tight, and then this other piece should just clip right onto it. So just use a crescent wrench on it. Tie it snug, don't tie it over tight in it. Just snug it. You feel when it's almost there, you want to tighten it up. Like I said, don't over tighten it. You just want to snug it up so you feel comfortable with it. Right there, see? I'm done. Right there. That's it. And this piece goes right back on it, it snaps right back in. in there perfect and now for the manifold here we're gonna put the cap on this is the cap that goes on it guys and all of this is just a blank it covers I'll be putting one of these on here these are for my boost gauge my boost gauge and my uh, blow off valve I'll put that in there lock tight it and then we'll just snap it right on with the O-ring and we should be done. And they do have different sizes, as you can see, and then you got your screws to block them off so if you ain't going to use no more boost cages then. Like that. I don't like that. That's kind of cheap. 
locked in place pretty damn good though. So I'm gonna need to keep this one on. Right there. Lock off the other two. Check this one out real fast. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, sorry about the video. Um, I ran out of battery. I thought I had enough. Uh, but I hope you guys get the gist of all of that. I hope you get the gist of how to put that PVC plate on, or PCB valve plate on, the delete plate. It's really easy, real simple. Um, the links will be in the descriptions below if you guys want to get one for your guys' Volkswagen. I know it's different kinds, we'll have different ones for them. So uh, I'll put the link in the description below for that 8XR or X8R company. Uh, they're from London, so if you guys want to order something, it's going to take a while. It'll take you at least, I don't know, say about three weeks to get it in. So three weeks to four weeks, it depends on how fast they uh, get it. But I'm driving the car now, the car's running excellent, feels really good. Um, there's no idle issue anymore. It doesn't go up or down. Um, I think that's like the best investment I probably did for this car right now. Because I was getting tired of the idle going up and down, up and down. Um, it deletes all of that PCV valve bullshit that it has with the diaphragms breaking and cracking. And the rubber that's in it, it's just, it just melts. So uh, I think that was a bad engineering problem what they did for the Volkswagen. But uh, luckily there's a company that's out there that does this like i said it's x 8 r and then i know there's one for spleen i'll have their description too that's a home-based one now that they're doing the only thing i don't like about theirs is that you got to put a valve in the on the manifold on the manifold cap to make it work because if not then it's useless you lose that one little piece it's useless this this doesn't have that so that's why i went with these people here plus they've been doing it longer so uh yeah definitely guys check it out i hope you like the videos please like and subscribe please like my videos please so i can get that airtime going around everywhere uh we're doing some other stuff with the car like i said sorry about the videos the video was just horrible today the wind was blowing and uh everything was just going really bad just everything that didn't i didn't want to happen but like i was saying guys it was just a bad video today um but you get the gist of it, I'll have, like I said, descriptions below, I'll have a link below, I'll have the YouTube channel below, so you can actually go see them actually doing it better. I know my, my camera didn't do real good today, my phone was just jacking up, so, uh, but other than that guys, if you guys have any questions, please comment, like, subscribe, just hit everything, please, I mean, if you just subscribe to me and like my videos, it takes one second to like a video, it takes, you know, one second to, to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, we have some more car content coming for the car. Plus, I'm going to have some uh, other stuff coming up, too. There's going to be some car meets and stuff that I'm going to go to and stuff. And I got uh, a wrap I'm thinking of a design for it. But I'll probably, I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. But uh, hey, guys, thanks a bunch. I'm out.